my name is Royston and this is um, Koto Dining. So it's our new new venue here in um, in Canberra. So what we are driving over here is to revitalize um, the old lobby building, which is you know the central from before. So Koto basically means um, town central, old central per se. So that's what we're trying to drive, like you know, getting that whole building alive, precinct, revitalizing it. We're working with the um, the old rose garden as well. Again, we've got a horticulturalist coming in to look at it and of course the um, precinct across as well. So we'll be working very closely with the um, local community to make it work. Yeah. So where are we? This is the lobby restaurant. This is the lobby restaurant. This is the lobby restaurant from the market. What is this video? How many people you got working on the side? Today we've got 14 today. 14? Yeah. So who are you? I'm just a... Yeah. You, got, you got a name? Adam. Adam. Adam from where? From the lobby. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. So this is... We've done all this new data. So this is oh, a Are you kidding? Are you kidding? You've done all this? So this is a boxes. Tasmania. We got it from a man that drew it. Uh, started started a small bonsai 40 years ago because he knew it was coming to a special restaurant, it's a special project. So he um he donated it to us. So we gave him we paid 25000 and we that was given to charity. All these rock boulders yeah. we got it from South Australia. That's so yeah, it's on a special pub. Maple tree we bring that from Western Australia. So that maple tree from Western Australia. So who who has whose idea that to get the maple tree from Western Australia. Well, we got a, a guy, uh, a Japanese landscaper, one of the best in Australia. His name's Shinya Ueda. So we we commissioned him to do the, all the landscaping. So we went looking for all these rocks and all these trees. This is the gravel that's going to mimic water here. And we're gonna rake it. This is Sujiban imported from Japan. It's Sujiban timber, charred, real charred from Japan. We imported that. This is all the old cedar timber. That's the original timber? That's the original timber. A big art installation here coming in from Japan. A sculpture? Yeah, a big sculpture. Custom made. So it's still a bit early. Next couple of weeks, three, four weeks, we'll start looking more like a restaurant. This is the sushi counter. This is all sushi counter and a drink bar there. So this is all open kitchen. This is where all the chefs will be cutting fish. Um, all everything raw here. Old kitchen here, old new kitchen. This is the Rabata charcoal, charcoal grill. Everything will be cooked on charcoal. This is Mitch, he's one of the best guys in camera doing the floor. Hey, there you go. You're not the chef. I'm not the chef. I'm doing it. Ah, you're 50. What's this here? This is your here. That's a floor waste. Yeah. 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 Here is the charcoal grill. We're cooking on Habashi grill. All white charcoal. Yeah. We'll go brand new kitchen. Everything is brand new kitchen there. This is gonna be our wine sake cellar. All wine sake here. For all the all the customers that wanna order expensive bottles of wine and sake, they come in here and they can splash their money. This is another wine cellar. Be on display. So what made you decide to make it Japanese? I've opened up two Japanese restaurants in Canberra. You're kidding? Yeah. You don't look very Japanese. I'm Lebanese, so Lebanese? Japanese, Lebanese, same. Okay. So all these windows open right up. See how they open up. 
like that, open right up, and then we're gonna have a big 150 square meter deck outside wow. for functions and outdoor drinking. Oh, wow. And they're doing a big Italian restaurant. I've got a cowbell. I've got a So this is going to be called Roses. So this is going to be an Italian restaurant, pizza, and it's going to be overlooking the Rose Garden, National Rose Garden. Will that be yours too? Um, no, that's um, his name's Tristan. He's the owner. So he, he's going to be running that. That's going to be like a bar, restaurant, cafe, mm. brunch, mm. picnic baskets. You can have a picnic basket, sit on the Rose Garden. And who's so idea? Whose idea was that? Um, Tristan. Tristan. Yeah. So what made you come together? Um, he had hunted me. He had hunted yeah. you? Yeah. So he was the one? Yeah, he had hunted me. Yeah, excellent. Good. Well, he chose well, didn't he? No, I think he done well. He's done very well. <laughs> You're then, crazy. Uh, You're absolutely crazy. And that's Has yeah, anyone told you that? Be fun. Has anyone that told you you're crazy? Yeah, because he said it. He said he's crazy and I'm crazy, so we're both crazy. So. Yeah, I'm crazy too. It's been two and a half years in the making anyway. Two and a half years? Yeah. Wow. So he chose the site. He wanted. He fell in love with the site and he wanted to do no, something with it? He he found the site and he wanted a cafe here, a big cafe. And then when I bring the cafe operators here, I saw the site and I said, I want the site. And then I snatched it. That's how it happened. Brilliant. Yeah, so, so you put all these doors in. Now these doors are already existing. They're existing doors. They're existing. We wanted to keep all the main features of the building because they're all heritage. It's a heritage listed building. And what's the feature there? The ceiling. It's cedar. It's like 70 years old, 60 years old. Cedar, original cedar. And they used to hand nail it in. Like in the olden days. Oh, yeah. This is Dad, one of the carpenters. He's from Japan. Hey, you come from Japan? Yeah. Yeah, Where I lived in Japan. Oh, I worked in Hakuba, in um, in the ski fields over there. So I was there for three years. Yeah. So it's um, three it's years. That's a long time. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool to um, to do some of this in the for a Japanese restaurant. Very perfect. Mm. Yeah, it's an iconic building. Everybody wants to have a part of this. Yeah. Absolutely. I think it's going to be exciting at the end. The finished product will be, will be spectacular. I
What are the materials? Well, we got little 35 line rounds. What are you measuring for? Yeah, so when Adam first approached us about this cladding, um, we were sort of a bit unsure on how it was all going to turn out because it had the curve on the front. Um, and being so brittle, because it's the burnt cladding, burnt cedar, um, it all came together really well. Uh, we're really happy with it. So the guys, me and the guys at Capital Cladding Construction um, did a really good job. And then we also did the, the, uh, the two cedar bulkheads here behind you. Um, so they're not established? They weren't there already? No, no, we did them last week. Yeah, yeah they also come up beautiful. Yeah. But you didn't do the ceiling itself? Nah, that's, that's the existing ceiling. Yep. And then these ones here, the two bulkheads here, and they're new. Yeah. We built these two bulkheads uh, last week. Um, the existing ones did have a, uh, a, a cedar look-alike cladding on it, but it was just all a little bit um, defected and then etc. And there were bits and pieces that just looked too rotten and that. And the possums had eaten all the old cladding, so... Yeah, so we've redone this with this red cedar pre-finished oil cladding. Um, and it's come up really good. Really good. It is special. It's sort of it's married in with the existing ceiling quite well. It looks like it's all one, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it looks good with the black vent. Uh, when Adam first approached us to see if we could do this as well, you know, we're all a bit thrown off because it's got that curve and it's mitered and it's so brittle, you know, because it's, it's burnt down that five mil, it's, it turns into like a wheat mix, but it's, it was very hard to work with. At the end of every day, we had black faces from the charcoal but it couldn't have worked out better. Um, it's turned out really well. As you can see, you know, it's beautiful. I love it. And since then, we've been approached to do more, so it's great. So you got a black yeah. face there. What's that? you got a black face. Yeah, black face. <laughs> Pull the ceiling back down, and now I'll take it over the capital stainless steel. Get the stainless put on, bring it back and put it up. Hell of a lot about a week. So one more coat after this. This is going to go into the ceiling? No, this is going to be going on the wall over there. It's so swanky. It's got to fit it off and save those dramas because the ceiling's really like, um, you can't get into it, right? Because it's like, it's all panels and stuff. It's all heritage, so we can't take it down. So we're putting this on the wall over there. We've run all the cables on the ground through the ceiling. So if there's ever a problem with any of the lights, we can just um, fix them there. This drive wall is just going to be inaccessible. Oh yes, 
Is he promised so much? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I did say uh, in Inca. Yeah, yeah, no, no. You been to Inca? No, not sure. No? Yeah. Do you like Japanese food? I haven't tried it. I'm closed minded. Why? Life is full My of food. My favorite excitement. food is toast. What can I say? <laughs> it's my health food. No, 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 you're missing out, you're missing out. I was born in the kitchen too. Mate, you need to, oh, food, <laughs> food is a world, food is life, vibrant, amazing, different flavors, textures, tastes, cuisines. Uh, you've got Indian cuisine with herbs, like you never tasted before in your life. You got Japanese refined, very fine and, and light. You got European, French food, delicious, Swiss, German, Italian. Toast, overrated, totally overrated. And it's not even good bread here. It's That's good, I'll get good bread. Three mils bread's good bread. <laughs> Go to Germany, country of bread. Amazing. Germany. Yes. Germany. Germany. I'm German. You're German too? Of course, yes. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. That so. was a nice little story though. I like that on food. <laughs> so the, you're going to go to the restaurant, are right? you? Now or is yes. the food coming here? No, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to the restaurant. Yeah. Good, good. I hope so. <laughs> because I don't want to sit here. It's all this stuff that's got to go in. Yeah, that's their problem. Definitely. No, that's, yeah, look, um, generally, um, we, I mean, the truck was full, as you noticed, yeah, really nice. and um, it's a new build. Uh, I think he should have had this a little earlier, uh, but in this regard, Adam is, the, the, he's Lebanese, last minute. Last minute, he ha he had the stuff forever and a day, but he organizes all the little. In my opinion, uh, he settles the horse from its ass. <laughs> he gets it going, but he does it a little back to front for my liking. Will you be down for the opening? I believe so. Yes, yeah, depending when it is, <laughs> because I'm going overseas at the end of this month, thirtieth. Yeah, thirtieth. Yes, I'm flying out to Switzerland, Italy, Germany, um, Austria. I mean, you know, I came from Sydney this morning, which is 
to three hours drive basically from where I originally come from in three hours I can drive through Switzerland through Austria and Germany no problem I'm at the border Beautiful. and in three hours you're in Italy no problem and France so it's I'm sorry Hi, my name is Martin. I'm from Sydney. I'm a chef by trade. Uh, I run a business which is commercial catering equipment hire and sales. Um, I ventured out on my own 13 years ago. I was executive chef at what's now called the Kudos Bank Arena, Sydney Superdome, Ace Arena, All Fans Arena, now Kudos Bank Arena. And we uh, basically hire from the cool room to the combi ovens to the fryer, everything. And I also sell the, uh, some of these items. So we work with, uh, from television, from MasterChef, My Kitchen Rules, to uh, caterers, the V8s, the, any big events. Uh, and then we do deliver as well, uh, catering equipment for people like Adam here. Hey, tell me about it. Adam, I know for many years, he's opened a few restaurants and uh, they're absolutely sensational and I'm happy to help him out wherever I can because he is a fantastic bloke uh, and his, the food is sensational, absolutely sensational in the restaurant. And his ideas? His ideas? Ideas? Yeah, his ideas. The ideas with him with the Japanese is fantastic. Um, I've been to his uh, Inca, I've been to Kazan uh, and all these restaurants have got uh, his signature in it. Decor amazing, kitchen amazing, food amazing. So as a chef myself, uh, I really do appreciate it. Because he's got a great location here, hasn't he? Sensational. Isn't it? I mean, absolutely sensational. In the heart of Canberra, uh, the gardens, I mean, how good can it be? Parliament House. Parliament House. Yes. Aboriginal Tent Embassy? <laughs> Tent Embassy, yes. Uh, Everything's here, isn't it? Everything is here. And look at the weather. Perfect. Perfect. So how long have you been working together with him? Oh, I know him for at least 15 years. 15 years? 15 years, yeah. Many, or many things. Uh, the day I met him, or I met him, uh, he was towing a three and a half ton trailer on the Porsche. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, known for many years. Have you actually worked together in the kitchen? No. no. Never no. worked in the kitchen? No. no. I don't know if I could do that. That was helping out. Generally what we do is we hire catering equipment, so we deliver, set it up, and then afterwards take it back again. So this is all Adam's things. So it's not usually what I do, uh, but yeah, always happy to help. So this is special. He is special. Yeah, yeah. he's a very special man. <laughs> special person, special place. Yes. Yeah. Look, life is too short. You want to help people out, and uh, I'm always happy to help anyone. That's what's about, isn't it? Relationships. Absolutely. Yeah. Do so you have many relationships with people? I have loads, absolutely. Show me about it. Lots of them. Um, we don't fall backwards. <laughs> we are being a chef by trade and have worked in the industry for many years. Tell me about your chef. The chefs are his fourth generation from Osaka, Japan. He's a two-headed chef, Japanese. He's originally, he opened up um, Nobu in Melbourne. He was a head chef in Nobu for eight years. Then he opened up Kisumi. In Melbourne, got two chefs at one of the best Japanese restaurants in Australia. So then I head hunted him and I dragged him here. And then he lives in Canberra now, so he's going to be he's an owner partner in this restaurant. So, how long has he been living in Canberra? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yeah. So, what's he been doing? Um, I took him to Sydney, I opened up another Japanese restaurant in Sydney called Kazan. So, we opened that, we just finished that maybe five months ago. So, now that's what that's started operating. Now he's come here to Canberra and he's helping me organise chefs and plate orders and all the interesting stuff needs to happen. How many other people you brought to Canberra? Um, I'm bringing another three more from Japan. Um, they're hotel managers. So they're going to be like restaurant managers, guest relations. So they'll all 
Yeah, we're trying to keep it very authentic. The Japanese embassy knows we're opening as well, so they're supporting us as well. So how long have you been in Canberra? Um, 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. So where did we get you from? Well, I, I came down to noodle markets in Canberra. You were eight in the years ago, market. yeah. So you started that or what? Well, I was one of the first operators to sell noodles in Canberra. That was the first noodle markets. And I saw Canberra was an interesting place. People are nice. So where'd you come from? Sydney. Sydney. Yeah, yeah, Sydney. You got the Sydney Born feel. Born and bred in Sydney. Yeah, you got that Sydney feel. Yeah, I love Canberra more. Yeah, you love Canberra more? Tell yeah, me it's about more that. laid back. What makes you like, what do you uh, like The work-life balance here. Everyone's nice and everyone's like a good work balance. In Sydney, it's all run, 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 run. But doesn't that make you run faster? Not really. Yeah. You can run. You can keep running forever. Sometimes you've got to stop and it's a balance. You've got to sort of realise what's important in life.